hoping that was gonna be the end of the chapter, but yeah, damn. Yeah. I'm crazy, but that's fine, man. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But baby, that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al, I know. Listen, I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Sane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. I just need to find it. Look out! <laughs> my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Why, why does games always set up? You always gotta go start the square one when you come with these, when you can't find, when you try to, when you have weapons. Barry! Barry! And you have no flashlight either. Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! Don't worry, your cutout is fine! Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though! It's like a sheer wall! Ah, Al! There's something moving down here! Barry, is it taken? Use the fire, Barry! Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess he never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Al, I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case! Now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. You better find a flashlight and a weapon on the way.
I do gotta go out of this way. Day. Shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get there. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Let's get to this goddamn farm. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Seen glimpses of the light.
night before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. I don't know who I'm thanking you. chance of reaching the farm. Anybody here? Ah! Barry? Ah! Ah! No! Danny, you're not! Ah! Please! Ah! What, what, what are you? What are you? Ah! No, no, I'm dying! Ah! 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 Oh, wow. I'm, I'm just collecting stuff while you up there getting killed up there. jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? 
It makes you see. They're, they're not going to miss it. They're in the loony bin. My buddy, Danny. I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friends. Something bad guy. Who wrote this crap anyway? Damn. R.I.P. bro. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes, cliffhangers, in a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. So the person... Oh, 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 okay. Okay, okay. So the person that's talking into the light, that's Tom and Zane. Okay, okay, he's your, he's your guy. So, apparently, the darkness is real. It's not his hallucination, but he is having a hallucination that, I don't know. The darkness is real, so, I'm thinking that his wife is alive? Because... Because everybody around him sees it, believes it, get killed by it, and turns into the darkness, consumes the darkness. So, Ali really might be kidnapped by the darkness. away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, oh, no. I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Who's that over there?
Sure, everything's good, bro. Especially up here, we got lights up here. I'm trying to figure out what's in this, um, this place up here. Notice that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the weather service reckon it'll last until morning, at the very least. Uh, pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The sheriff's department's still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused, give him a hand, all right? <clears throat> this is Pat Maid on KBF FM. Hoping you're all safe and warm tonight. down. Calm it down. Oh, this is too far.
Like, what you looking at? Flashbangs become in handy. Oh! Hey! Back up. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage.
Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Hey, Al! This way to the farm! See, best seller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Oh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'm sunk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Barry, right now, I'm just standing here because out. I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Wow. Look at that thing, Al! They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Look at all this stuff! They must... Sleep. Wow, nice trade. Nice. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? First real writing job got you started. Hold on. Did you what did you just say? Tonight's episode. The dream of dreams. Ah, eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jeff to see explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Where the hell is Barry? Where the hell? 
Where the hell is this man at? Where the hell is Barry? This dude. Get your ass in there. You're pissing me off. What is that? Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. The door was barred from the other side. I'd have to find another way. through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the, uh, the usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, a, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier, and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh, 
Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. Trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Is that a chainsaw? Out of here. together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. Ah! Don't seem like it. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. 
We should feel right at home then. Come on, one more gig. Let's do this. Uh. Is that? Oh God knows the truth. Another chainsaw. Not liking it. Lights are out. Guess we better check the fuse box. Gotta be downstairs or upstairs. Watch out, Barry. God damn, you all up in the way. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be, what's her face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right, must be. Okay? We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? You've been through some hell. You need some. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coops and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. I was there, an out-of-body observer, 
This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what Alice? happened. Alice! Alice! I remember being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remember thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. <sighs> Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. Alice! I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. What the Is hell? there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. What the hell was going on? The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. was the ransom for her. I don't know, bro. I feel like she, what she's doing is very manipulating. I think she's trying to, uh, she's trying to use Alan to write the manuscript to get her out instead of Allison. That's what I'm thinking. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. Bam. I'll bring her back. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. But she was helping her out. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You know I'm here. It will be back soon. She stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Oh. 
The weeks that in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. the truth I wrote it it's my fault that's right James Joyce it's your fault and you're gonna pay for it mm. all right that's gonna be that's gonna be the end of the video man episode four the truth and we got a lot of the truth uh, what really happened to uh, to Allie she's for really gone she's really she's really really gone um and Alan wait Alan has been in the clinic for some I don't know if he's been in the clinic he's been in the clinic for uh, like at least a couple of days I think but the truth of the matter is, uh, we went to the Anderson's um, farm and figure out um, what was in this, what was in their song about a lady in the light. So, and um, Alan, Alan and Barry took a took a uh, took a night out. I mean, a, a night off in the um, in the um, Anderson's Anderson's house. Speaking of Barry, Barry is a real dude, a real real dude. Other than him being like an asshole and like being an asshole and all, but he 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 one solid dude. He one solid dude. He always care. He's the type of person that like that cares about people. But anyway, Alan was in a dream. He figured out uh, what was going on. He was. Uh, he was creating a story for the darkness, Jagger, Barbara Jagger, to make her stronger throughout the manuscript. Not bringing Allison back, but use, using Alan to uh, make her stronger and make her more real. So what he did was uh, he put a loophole in the manuscript just so he can escape out. And he ended up getting guidance from Zane to snap him out of it because he, he was kind of possessed by the darkness by writing the story damn that's tough so we so we on chapter 5 man we want to figure out what was going on but if you if you enjoy this gameplay you went through this gameplay hit a like on this video comment down below what you think about this video Subscribe if you're new, man. I'll be on my way, bro. Peace.